Ukraine's partners have switched to a qualitatively new strategy for supporting Kyiv. Military and political experts are sure. According to them, Ukrainian diplomacy managed to achieve the formation of long-term plans for the allied countries. First, we are thinking about security. That uh, Ukraine is going to need a world-class deterrent military for the long term. And we have said we will be with you for the long term, so we are beginning to plan now what that military needs to look like. So wherever and however this ends, we are not one year, six years, 16 years uh, doing this again, that Russia will see that this one didn't pay and any future aggression will not pay. In 15 months of a full-scale Russian invasion, Ukraine has gone from javelins to tank and combat aircraft. In the previous year alone, the Allied countries provided military assistance totaling more than $60 billion. Almost three-quarters of them were provided by the United States. Defense Minister of the United States Lloyd Austin confirmed that the Kremlin's hopes that the West is supposedly tired are in vain. Putin was hoping that our resolve would fade and he was betting that our unity would crack. Instead, we remain as united as ever. And the whole world can see it. Now, everyone here knows that the, what the Ukrainians are, are up against. Russia has renewed its shocking and shameful barrage of missile attacks that threaten innocent Ukrainian civilians, including hypersonic missiles aimed at Kyiv. Other countries are also joining the strategic support plan for Ukraine. Thus, according to Polish President Andrzej Duda, a number of Euro-Atlantic countries are working to provide Ukraine with guarantees of armed assistance before it joins NATO. Democracies in the Indo-Pacific are also helping. Japan is even working on changing its own legislation for this. And Australia, from the first weeks of the Russian full-scale war, has been supplying armored vehicles for the armed forces of Ukraine. The world is watching Ukraine so closely is because this isn't just Ukraine versus Russia, it's democracy versus dictatorship, it's the free world versus the authoritarian, totalitarian world. And uh, what's needed uh, is resolve on the part of free countries to stand behind uh, the global rules-based order which has been so wonderfully successful over the last five or six decades and which has enabled more people than ever before in history to be free, to be safe, to be prosperous. Uh, but that order is under massive challenge now uh, from the Beijing-Moscow axis and that's why it's important that a free country see this for what it is uh, and respond with strength. Today, a plan for training Ukrainian pilots on the F-16 and other aircraft has been agreed. The training coalition was led by Denmark and the Netherlands. It will be joined by Norway, Poland and Portugal. At the same time, Western allies are transferring long-range air-launched missiles to Ukraine. They are already helping Kyiv to eliminate the warehouses and headquarters of the Russian invaders in order to prepare for a large-scale offensive. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.